Hello, Pooh. This is for you. It's very... And then again, uh, Christopher Robin, what is it? It's a calendar. This way, you can keep track of the days and weeks and months and the seasons. The seasons? Spring, summer, fall, and winter. You'll see. Spring had come to the Hundred Acre Wood, and outside his house, Winnie the Pooh was watching the flowers grow. As he studied them, up walked his friends Eeyore and Rabbit. Eeyore, Rabbit, did you ever think how it must feel to be a flower? Living underground all winter, then coming up in the spring? Very uncomfortable, I shouldn't wonder. No, I think it must be very restful. Uh, lots of plants and animals rest in the winter and wake up in the spring. Uh, for instance, Pooh, look at your tree. <laughs> Little leaf buds are growing, and the robins have come back from their winter home. The squirrels are busy, too, hunting for food. I like the puffy white clouds. Aren't they? Uh, that is, oh my goodness, they've turned gray. Never trust a cloud, I always say. That's another thing about spring. It rains a lot. Uh, come on, let's go inside. As they ran for cover, the sun peeked out from behind a cloud, and a rainbow blazed across the sky. But soon it had passed, and so too had spring. Summer brought warmer weather and longer days, and walks in the wood. Who often went strolling with his friends, rabbit, Piglet and Owl. You see, Pooh, the summer is a time for growing. The grass gets greener and the trees take on a thick coat of leaves. Look, blueberries. They've grown so big, they seem ready to... <laughs> Small swimming tadpoles turn into fat frogs. Eggs hatch and many baby animals get bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, one thing you can count on in summer is higher temperature. Uh, what temperature? Pooh, temperature is a way of telling how hot or cold things are. High temperature means it's hot, and low temperature means it's cold. Just then, a familiar-looking shape floated by. Eeyore, what are you doing in there? Oh, I was just testing the water. It's a bit wet, but the temperature is quite cool and nice. You should try it. And so they did. The animals spent the rest of the day floating lazily in the pond, talking about blueberries and tadpoles and temperature. Over the next few months, there were many walks and many adventures. The days were getting shorter, and summer was giving way to fall. Fall was a time for gathering, and that's just what Pooh, Rabbit, and Eeyore were doing one gusty, blustery day in October. Let's see. We've gathered apples from the trees, acorns from the ground, and a pumpkin from the vine. Rabbit, this has been a very nice afternoon. A, a very full afternoon, but uh, could we go to Owl's house now? I feel a rumbly in my tumbly, and I think Owl might have a bit of honey. As they crunched through the leaves, they saw animals getting ready for the cold weather ahead. Squirrels were gathering nuts and storing them in the ground. A caterpillar was weaving a cocoon where it would sleep during the coming months. Some birds were flying south to spend the winter in warmer places. At last, the three animals arrived at Owl's house. My, what a wonderful harvest. It's not a harvest, Owl. It's a pumpkin. See here, I know what a pumpkin is. Pooh, harvest means food that's picked or gathered. Apples and pumpkins and lots of other things are harvested in the fall because that's when they ripen. I thought they ripened in the autumn. 
They do, Eeyore. Autumn is simply another name for fall. Oh. Oh, I was just wondering whether you'd harvested any honey this fall, in case anyone is feeling tired from carrying things. Well, of course, my dear Pooh. Oh, I have some right inside. Bring in the food, and we'll have an autumn feast. As the weeks wore on, the weather grew colder, the bright colors faded, and before long, winter was approaching. Winter brought snow and shorter days. Sometimes it also brought visitors. Oh, come on outside. It's beautiful. It's so quiet out here. Of course, Pooh. Oh. You see, winter is a time when plants and animals rest. Beneath the snow, the grass is brown. In the soil, seeds are sleeping, waiting for the spring. Why aren't there any leaves on these trees? The trees are resting too, Piglet. They'll grow new leaves in the spring. Have you noticed how hard and slick the water's been lately? That's because during winter, the water freezes and turns to ice. Then, in the spring, when it gets warm again, the ice and snow begin to thaw. In other words, they begin to melt. Come on, let's play in the snow before it thaws. Pardon me, Piglet, but I'd rather you didn't jump on my nose. Eeyore, what are you doing under there? Some of the other animals were sleeping, so I thought I'd give it a try. But it seems that I picked a busy part of the wood. <clears throat> yes, I see. Hibernation and so forth. Hive of nations? Oh, what does that mean? Hibernation. It's a kind of sleep. Uh, gophers and badgers and other animals hibernate to help themselves through the winter. As Rabbit finished, a familiar voice floated through the wood. Over here, Christopher Robin. In just a few moments, Christopher Robin was standing in their midst. I've brought you a new calendar, Pooh, so you can follow the seasons again next year. The seasons? What are they? <laughs> well, Piglet, you see, spring's when the world awakens. Summer is the time to grow. Autumn is for getting ready to be warm through the winter snow. And we call these times of year seasons. They repeat in their order round and round. There's spring, summer, fall, and winter's last of all. And that's what the seasons are about. Just wait, Piglet. You'll see. Right, Christopher Robin? Right, too. Silly old bear. <laughs> <laughs>